I'm traveling right now. I'm going to Kenya, you know, to explore. You know, this is not a usual video that I do, but this is going to be an episode where I just travel everywhere. You know, in Africa, showing you some beautiful places, nice place to visit. And uh, if it's something you're interested, stay tuned. I just arrived in Kenya Touchdown and I'm here with Becky. Hi! Can't see off Miss Trudy, you know, she just came to pick me up from the airport. She's so nice. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to have a lot of experience here in Kenya. If you have anything, suggestion, what to do, what not to do, comment down below. Yeah, enjoy the views. To Dar es Salaam? Maybe two hours. Two hours? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking maybe two hours. Yeah. I see. You cannot use the road? You can, I but uh, you have to be too. It's, it's like a um, 15 hour trip. Huh? What? On the road? Yes. From Nairobi to Dar es Salaam. I actually took the trip when last month, August. Really? Yes. How was it? It was. It was quite an adventure, but I didn't go like directly to Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. I went through Arusha. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, Arusha. And then yeah. I went to Moshi. Yeah. Then I went to Dar es Salaam. Then yeah. I finished Zanzibar. Wow, you did yeah, that. that! I want to do that. It was amazing. Wow, yeah, it was amazing. Guys, but yeah, it takes it takes some time. It does. Yeah, I, I was hours. sleeping. No, I was sleeping from Nairobi to Arusha is like six hours. Okay. Yes. Then slept in Arusha. Yeah. To, to Moshi the next day. Yeah. So it, it took me like what five days to get to Zanzibar. Days. Yeah, because I was sleeping in every town. Just to experience yeah, everything. Just, just to explore and experience. Yeah. I also, I had a show because I told you I'm an artist. Yes, yes. I had a show in Zanzibar. Yes. So I was performing in Zanzibar. Oh, wow. And I wanted it to be like, um, you know, an adventure. Adventure. Yeah. 
adventure. Like a trip, yeah, you, know? you just don't fly and get yes. there and perform by just and then go yeah, back because yeah, okay. yeah, it was my first time in Tanzania. Yeah. And yeah, I visited like four towns yeah. in Tanzania. Yeah. It was, it was wow. amazing. It sounds it's very interesting. Honest. I would like to do that. You should. I need, I need a partner to do that way. You should. <laughs> <laughs> 15 hours. Wow. 15 hours, yeah. Interesting. That's yeah. non stop. Yeah. And guys, she's an artist. She's a reggae artist. Yeah. And uh, she does music, bottom line, and entrepreneur as well. Yeah. And uh, how do people find you? Um, everywhere you can find me as Becky Modoli, my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. as Becky Modoli, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Twitter, as Becky Modoli. Nice, go check it out. Rushing to, yeah. Yeah, that's why there's traffic. Wow. The other side is against traffic. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, it's clear. Yeah. Wow. So because yeah, nobody's really going to. busy there. when people are going back home in the oh, evening. Oh, okay. Five, yeah. like prime time. Yeah, from four to seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Kenya, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. How many provinces do you have or city? Cities in Nairobi? Yeah. Okay, do I really know? So you have uh, Mumb uh, Mombasa? Mombasa, Nairobi, a lot. Nairobi. Kisumu, Kisumu. Um, Eldoret. Uh -huh. Those are like the main ones. Yeah. What else? Um, yeah. So there are very, very other many, many towns. Mm -hmm. Small towns, but many, many towns. I can't. Mm -hmm. Maybe 47. Mm. Should I say 47 counties? Mm. 47, I think 47, yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. That's a lot. And guys, I like the fact that she's wearing Kinti. <laughs> which is which is from Ghana. It's from Ghana. Yeah. Oh wow. You didn't know that. I didn't know. But well, we have we have it in Kenya as well. You so do. Yeah. Kente is I think uh, it originated from Ivory Coast, which is Ghana. The same people, anyways. But I like the fact that you are in Kenya and you're wearing that. Thank you. Yes, it's nice. That's a Pan African right there. Yeah, we in Africa. You see, <laughs> that's nice. Kenya. What do you say? In Ghana we say Akwara. What's that? Like when you're welcome. Karibu. Karibu. Yes. Okay. Karibu. And Karibu. then you say Asante. That's thank you. Mm. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to post on Instagram. Uh, then go and check me out on Instagram. Captain underscore Hayford. I'm going to say welcome to Kenya on my Instagram. I think 
Uganda means blood. Moja. When I'm okay. coming back, so, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to have breakfast. What is the name of this mall? It's called Gia Coffee and Restaurant. Coffee and Restaurant. Oh, yeah. oh no, you're good. She's eating way healthier than I am. I feel bad now. Why did you say it's bitter? Because it has um, a lot of lemon, mm -hmm. a lot of ginger, mm -hmm. so it's very, very bitter. I see. Wow. Don't you want to eat a I don't know. I'm going to maybe 20. I decided to use my hands because it's chapati, you know. This is my first time taking an Uber in Kenya and uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it, got in, it got there in two, less than two minutes. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting and uh, yeah, I'm going around the city, you know, looking around. They're selling food right here. Watermelon, oranges, papo, you name it, anything. And there's chicken right there. I think they are selling them too. And the infrastructure in this country is pretty impressive. You know, very developed. Just like like any kind any city in China I would say. And then the weather here is just like springtime China. You know, not cold like winter, but like sp spring, you know, cool wind and stuff like that. And everybody just in hello. Everybody is just in their zone, man. We are chilling. We are not hyper like Ghana people are. Just chill, calm, focus on their business. 
whatever they're doing and then just you know going and then this is my driver giving me the gist about how nigerians are troublesome in kenya and i asked him this question does he believe or does he trust a white man more than a nigerian and this is what he said nigerian let us say about even sudanese are good mm -hmm. but nigerian but I'm saying, do you trust like a white man more than Nigerian? You cannot say you can trust it because when you have a white people, they have mm. a business here. Mm. Many of them, they have a business. Mm -hmm. They are doing, they are working they are, mm -hmm. in, a, in a white uh, company. Uh -huh. And you know, when you are somebody is employed, you must respect him. Mm. But you know, you are colonized by British. Mm. And when you are colonized by British, after that, mm -hmm. they have the big land here, mm -hmm. they have uh, industry, mm -hmm. so they employ many of us, mm. but not of us, our fathers. Mm. I see, that's a Chinese shop, people, right? Yeah, there's a niche, it's a niche restaurant, mm. and the shop, even there is another here, another one here. Wow, it, it seems like Chinese are everywhere in, Ken in Nairobi. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. uh, in 2005, they migrate with Japanese uh, Chinese. They build a very good, a very good uh, road. Mm -hmm. After that, they start building this building. Mm -hmm. But we never had any case of a building which was built by Japanese. Mm -hmm. It have a problem with the crack or mm -hmm. such a thing. Yeah. So the many people are using Japanese to build. Because we are using in our country, we are. You mean Chinese or Japanese? Because they are different. We are talking about Chinese. Chinese, yeah. And Japanese, yeah. Even Japanese, they are. We have it here, but not more than, not more. Like, okay. But the Japanese came here before Chinese. Chinese, okay. Yeah. That's why, because every building that I'm seeing here is like China style, and yeah. if you've lived in China, yeah. you know that's how they build. And then everything, like most of the buildings are like Chinese buildings. Yeah, they, they are, those are people who are building here. Mm. And I think even building, they are cheaper. It's cheaper to build. Yeah, they are building a cheaper. In a, you know, when you are using a technology, a British technology, mm -hmm. it is very expensive. It's very expensive, okay, yeah. yeah. Let me sing a song, yeah. my latest song. It's called Me. Me? Yeah, it goes That's like. Good. My own boss me, my first love me, and I would do it unconditionally, my motivation, I gravitate to me.